Hey, rabbits and bunnies. So we learned about Daryl Johnson about two years ago. Um, the public was introduced to Daryl Johnson as the uh, crisis manager and publicist for R. Kelly. Essentially, Johnson mediated the public affairs and media request for Mr. Kelly while R. Kelly was going through his criminal and accusation. Tasha Kay recently uh, released her documentary called Daryl Johnson with the subline, Catch Me If You Can. Now, Catch Me If You Can was a movie released in 2002 with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. You know, and it tells the story of a masterful con artist, Frank Abagnale Jr. It is not difficult for the viewers to assume that she's correlating Daryl Johnson with Frank Abagnale's con story. So Tasha Kay is attempting to expose an alleged con artist, Daryl Johnson. Tasha Kay dropped the first episode on Patreon about three days ago for the subscribers at the $15 tier mark or tier level. Tasha interviews one of the first victims and one of the things that she did very skillfully through her questioning was um, she was able to question and gather the information and way in which we're able to see the pattern of behavior um, of Daryl Johnson as the con artist. So we the rabbits did some research. Um, we started on Instagram and we actually found an Instagram page called Daryl Johnson Scammer. And all that link will be on the description box of this video. But um, the photos on this Instagram page are very telling. You know, you have You'll find default judgments, judgments against Daryl Johnson and several businesses under his name. Um, I'm pretty sure that Daryl Johnson is not running this page. Could probably put my money on that. Um, there was a comment in there that I thought was very interesting. It says about a year and a half ago, we were introduced to Daryl Johnson. Describe tactics as taking advantage of the elderly, young entrepreneurs, and victims of grief. So a lot of this um, in the pages and in the comments was being described as far as Daryl Johnson and his behavior. His tactic is to lure victims into fake business investments, okay? And so then they're uh, essentially saying that he moves this way, that you know he knows the kind of victims that he's picking out. And so then if you've seen the preview for episode two of Tasha Kay's documentary, you will notice that it sounds like he's very good at picking out who the victims are or who the victims will be. Um, there was another comment in there that I thought was in the, very interesting where he went to make a down payment and he presented an insufficient uh, check for this down payment on a vehicle. And so they were coming back for him on that and he has not paid. Um, also, the hiring of a restaurant where um, he never paid or pick up the tab for an event. And really, um, the way he presents himself is based on what the victims are alleging is that he is an affiliate of the NFL. And so then, uh, or, or he's a crisis manager or um, really tries to use influence um, either by saying that he's connected to someone or by you know making a remark so um it says right here in proven fashion this is mr johnson's mode of operation he uses the influence of non-existing relationships to prove his credibility lure you into the scheme subsequently he does not produce abandons the project and fails to pay so as we are awaiting um, the next release. Now, I believe uh, Tasha will be dropping the um, first series on YouTube, I believe, tomorrow for Daryl Johnson. Uh, some of us are waiting for her to drop part two on Patreon, like myself. And so really thinking about what is that going to look like? What are his tactics? Now, the bigger question that I think lots of us want to know at this point is how does this characterization, how, how does the portrayal of Daryl Johnson impact R. Kelly, the criminal case, his dealings? What is it? I feel like we're not, um, there's a bigger picture behind all of this. Why start with Daryl Johnson? 
and present him as a swindler, essentially, um, allegedly, again, but present him as a con artist, right? What is the bigger picture here to R. Kelly? And I think that that is the, maybe behind the question, you know, the bigger question to ask. And as we are watching, I have a feeling, and I'm sure a lot of viewers have a feeling, that uh, we are going to be going into a huge rabbit hole here. And as things are going to come up, um, it is very interesting to see this information, but also in the bigger scheme of things. What does it mean for R. Kelly's criminal case? Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to do this commentary, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be dropping receipts on the description box, and I hope to hear from you.